welcome to another vlog everybody <laughs> we're in Tesco's it's pretty late in the evening I've discovered this when you pick an item up you scan it and then you don't have to go to the till at the end it's genius but um you know what I wanted to come on here and talk about the level of freedom that is found I don't think that can get old. <laughs> it's like finding a new toy. <laughs> I always see people going around the supermarket, scanning their things. Anyway, I was sort of saying, the level of freedom from not worrying what other people think. It is the most relieving state of mind I think you could possibly be in. Now look, I'm no expert. Look, I, I have let go of a lot, you know, and I'm and I'm not saying I'm perfect at this, but you've got to practice this. This doesn't come naturally, you know. It doesn't come naturally to free yourself of the constraints of people's opinions. But at the end of the day, it's just an opinion, isn't it? Just somebody else's thought, how they perceive you should live your life. I mean, what's it got to do with them? I mean, for example, say, walking around the supermarket, vlogging like this, could be considered madness in some people's eyes. But at the end of the day, what does it matter to them? I'm not hurting anybody. They may w not want to do this themselves. They may feel, you know, afraid or worried about judgment, but that's on them. That's not a reflection of me. That's their problem, not my problem. And that's how we have to think. We've got to be truthful to ourselves and say, actually, ultimately, that's down to them. It's nothing to do with me. If they want to have a go, if they want to say something, they're the one going around with the problem, not you. You are not the problem. That is something to really remember. Well, that was an experience. <laughs> Scanning my shopping for the first time. Small things in life, you know. If you don't enjoy the small things, the big... If you want to surpass that level of anxiety that feeling that you know what people think matters you've obviously got to start small and the way I think about these things or the way that I started not worrying about it anymore is to start doing things that people might care about and seeing how people react and ultimately you're going to get a small percentage of people who react badly and, you know, look at you like you're stupid. Might even comment, might even go as far to comment. But ultimately, what you've then got to ask yourself afterwards, and this is the big question. Truthfully, truthfully, did their opinion matter? Not did it matter to you, because of course, if you suffer from the anxiety of worrying about what people think, of course it matters to you. But truly, did it matter? Did it... When you think about these things as our bigger picture, what does it matter whether somebody likes the idea of what you do or not? Because let's think of positive affirmation when somebody says, yeah, brilliant, go for it. What you're doing is fantastic. Yeah, it just boosts your ego a little bit, but it, that again is on you. That is on you feeling like, oh yes, thank God. Somebody's telling me I'm doing the right thing. But just keep going. It doesn't matter. The positive and negative affirmation from somebody else is completely irrelevant. One will make you feel good, one will make you feel down. But this is the thing that you have to remember. Memories are... ...incredibly short. I mean, if you think about it, even if it's somebody who's near and dear to you, who has a negative opinion on something you do or you know, something that's positive. Quite often people actually have negative things on things that are positive, which blows my mind. But all they think, you know, they say it's silly or whatever, and that puts you off doing it. I mean, come on, how many times has that happened to you? 
There's so many examples I could set that has happened to me in my lifetime. When I set up my first YouTube channel, the amount of people that just thought I was mad, including my close loved ones, you know, that thought I was just going on a whim, on a limb, you know, out there. What's he doing? He's setting up a YouTube channel. He's never going to succeed at that. You know, so there is always that. But the truth is, is that actually, if you just keep going at it, eventually they get bored of saying it and they forget and they just ignore you for a while. And then when you start being successful, well, then something even more interesting happens. Actually, you have surpassed where they are in your life. And then, instead of putting you down, they just ignore what you're doing. You know, so you're a different person. They're the same person. That puts a big red arrow on them to say, well, what are you doing with your life? And actually, they're more likely, the people who you previously thought were close to you, are more likely to be the ones who don't champion you. They're not the ones who are bigging you up. They're not your fans or followers. I mean, you know, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be talking about social media. It could be anything in life. They are the first ones to ignore where you've got to. They don't say well done very often. In fact, if ever. I mean, the truth of the matter is no one can ever be truly sure that if they put their neck on the line and they commit to something, wholeheartedly irrelevant of what people think of them, what they might get out of it, what successes they may achieve beyond their wildest dreams. That's certainly how I feel about my YouTube channel. Okay, shopping all done. It's like 10 o'clock at night now. Listen guys, there is no action in an action. <laughs> Obvious I know, but so true. So don't worry about what other people think, just practice that mindfulness of just keep going forward keep moving forward and those people who have negative thoughts negative things to say will forget all about you and just leave you well alone to do exactly what you set out to do if you can just get through that first phase that first period and it just gets so much easier from there in on out i wish i could impart what i've learned onto you through the screen Unfortunately, you've got to do the hard mileage, and that's my cat. <laughs> I hope it works for you guys. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments section. I'm going to feed my cat now. No, no, I've already fed the cat. I'm not going to feed the cat. I'm going to give her a stroke.